was influential all over the world. He was as much a showman as he was a designer. His shows were some of the most sexy, spectacular, and looked forward to in Milan. Versace was born in Calabria, Italy, December 2nd, 1946. His mother was a dressmaker, and Versace got his initial training working with her. It was from her that he also got his love of fabric, something that carried over into his new business. Versace, who began designing in the 70s for such Italian houses as Jenny, Complice and Calligan, presented his first signature collection in 1978. He became known for his softly sensuous metal dresses, which could be sewn by machine. His leather wear for both men and women has been at the top of the popularity poll for years. Versace's business remained a family enterprise. He worked closely on the creative side with his sister Donatella and her husband Paul Beck. Versace's brother Santo handled much of the business end. Versace not only designed clothes, he did costumes for ballet and opera, and in the last few years branched into homeware. His homeware collections include china, flatware, glassware, sheets, pillows, and bathware. Everything he did had the Versace touch. His logo was the Medusa head, and it's a theme that runs throughout his collection. Versace's homes reflect his love of ancient Rome and Greece. He collected antiquities for them and displayed them with great joy. Ironically, Versace told me this past March that he wanted to slow down. He wanted to change his lifestyle and start enjoying some of the wealth and treasures he had accumulated. Elsa Clench, CNN, New York.